Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Curl in Florida Derby Day. It doesn't get much better than this. 14 races, 10 stakes races. Let's quickly go to Pete Aiello with those track and weather conditions and the call of all 14 races. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Sunny skies with temperatures in the mid 80s. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is fast. The turf course is firm. The first race is the first half of the early daily double, the start of the 50 cent early pick five. In race number one, scratch number six, Long Beach Kid. R Racing at Gulfstream. From between horses, Benefactor gets the first call and reaches out for early control from Double Tough Tiger, who comes away in second. Up on the outside, Farley forwardly placed. He's in early third. The gray mystery bank is a bit wide to that first turn run. Running on behind heels is Papa Honor. Then it's a length and a half back to Buffalo Max, ahead of Poco Charlie, and Parlor is at the back. The field is separated by six lengths as they chase the speed of Benefactor to the backstretch. Benefactor on top by a length and a half. Farley is well placed while second and Double Tough Tiger is third. Outside fourth in Mystery Bank followed fifth by Papa Honor. Then it's Poco Charlie with Buffalo Max second last and a length and a half to the trailer parlor. They make their way five furlongs from the finish. Benefactor and jockey Marcos Meneses on top by almost a length. Here's a good trip here from Jose Ortiz on Farley, latched on to the leader and only a half length behind. Moving between runners and in tight is Papa Honor, deep on the course, Mystery Bank. Double Tough Tiger stays put at the rail, followed by Buffalo Max and Poco Charlie, and at the back is Parlor. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn, three furlongs to run. Up front, Benefactor leads by a neck, turning up the pressure as Farley second, Mystery Bank is asked to quicken, he's now third. Winding up wide on the course and Poco Charlie in between horses, trying to run home from there is Papa Honor, then it's Double Tough Tiger as they run to the top of the stretch. Farley on even terms with the leader Benefactor, these two off the corner, two and a half lengths better than Papa Honor, who's now third, down the center and Poco Charlie. There's an eighth of a mile to go, Benefactor's very good game. Farley is right alongside. These two put on a show with the 16th to go. Farley on the outside. Benefactor toward the rail. Benefactor will not yield. And Benefactor turned him away. Benefactor pinned his ears and said, no, you don't. He beat Farley by an neck. Third was Papa Honor in 142 and three. Derby Day 2022 underway. And they're off. Good start for Ballistico. Henry's World put into play early, and he'll stick a neck in front. Running with him early is Military Drill. Into the top flight goes Ghost Liner. Down at the rail, Richie's looking for some place to race. My tie went on his mid-flight. Wide on the course, and Admiral Truffles with famous Jen Waddest of all. The early trailers are B by the Sea and Trini Summer. Into the far turn, they race. Military Drill, Ballistico battling with Henry's World. On the far outside, that's Admiral Truffles sweeping up four wide. From behind the speed, it's Ghost Liner. He needs a way out. Three wide Dranger Towny in between horses and my tie one on. Richie's the favorite. He's working into the clear. He's in the purple colors as they stack across the course. Top of the lane. Who do you like here? From the rail, it's Henry's World still in front. Irad would love some racing room for Ghost Liner. He's going to try to thread the needle at the inside. Charging hard in Granger County. Eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Granger County over the top. Ghost Liner got through. Ghost Liner and Granger County kick on. Here's the finish. It's too close to call. That's on the bob between Ghost Liner outside. Granger County on the outside. Ghost Liner toward the rail and 56 and 2.
racing in the orchid. From the outside, beautiful lover was quick into stride with Champagne Ivy moving to take over. Family Way is away in early third. Harajuku is next ahead of Scarabea, and the early trailer is Sister O'Toole. They make their way to the far turn for the first time, and the advantage belongs to Peachtree Stable's Champagne Ivy. She's in front three parts of a length. Beautiful Lover is on her hip while racing in second, and Junior Alvarado and Harajuku pocketed up third. The pace slows early. Up to fourth goes Family Way, off heels with Scarabea, and at the rail, Sister O'Toole is last of all, separated by four lengths as they round the far turn for the first time. Champagne Ivy setting a very reasonable early tempo and not happy with that tempo is Scarabea. She's tugging hard and looping up out wide to take the lead. Scarabea to the top as they straighten down for the first time. Scarabea bound by a length and a half. Second is Champagne Ivy with Beautiful Lover in third. At the rail, Harajuku is racing from fourth with Family Way second last and the early trailer remains Sister O'Toole. They complete a half mile in 51 and 4, and they have one lap to go in the Orchid. And the leader is still Scarabea. She leads by a neck after a mid race move. Second is Champagne Ivy. Third is Beautiful Lover. Great trip here from Junior Alvarado on Harajuku. She saved a lot of ground and is racing kindly at this stage. Second last is Sister O'Toole and Family Way held up at the back. They're separated by four lengths with less than seven furlongs to run. Scarabea has the lead. She leads three parts of a length. Champagne Ivy continues to press the issue in second, biding her time at the rail as Harajuku in third. Beautiful lover Red Cap racing in fourth. Paired off at the back are Sister O'Toole and Family Way. That's the six of them with less than six furlongs to run. Three quarters and 17 and two. Scarabea has the lead and leads three parts of a length. Champagne Ivy still second. No change in the plot here. Third at the rail in Harajuku. She waits her turn. Beautiful Lover is now fourth with Family Way fifth and Sister O'Toole still at the back. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. The pace picks up, and Scarabea is still the target. Champagne Ivy working harder second. Beautiful Lover let go three wide for a run. Looking for room now is Harajuku, then Family Way and Sister O'Toole. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. They're on their way home. With the advantage, it's Scarabea. Beautiful Lover takes aim. Harajuku looks for room. Family Way underway and storming home down the center. Here's Family Way running by them all with less than an eighth of a mile to go. The Orchid to Tyler Gaffley and family way she kicked clear with authority good battle here for second too close to call for second photo between beautiful lover and harajuku fourth is sister o'toole in 229 what And they're off. Rafua was off slowly. Good start for My Romeo Lima, who's headed off for the early advantage. The stablemate Quality G is up to second with Bandamere moving up on the outside third. Hall of Dreams comes away in good shape, fourth behind the speed. Two better than Waltham Warrior. Outside of him goes Braille. The two at the back are Rafua, and at the back of the field is Braille. Around the first turn they go. My Romeo Lima leads by two. At the rail, it's Quality G a joint second with Bandamere on his outside. Racing from fourth and Hall of Dreams, three better than Waltham Warrior, then Braille, and Rafu is at the back. Less than five furlongs from the finish. My Romeo Lima doing it nicely at this stage, leads three parts of a length. Token pace pressure from Bandamere on the outside, second and Quality G is third. Hall of Dreams is in the two path, fourth about three lengths behind. Wide on the course in Braille with Rafua at the rail and Walter Warrior between. Field separated by four and a half lengths with half a mile to race. My Romeo Lima still has the lead, three parts of a length. Bandamere is still second, three wide. Hall of Dreams on the go, third. Quality G looks for racing room four. Fourth. Two back to Braille, dropping back Waltham Warrior. Rafua is last as they run to the top of the stretch. Up front, my Romeo Lima still leads. Hall of Dreams is up to second. Bandamere is all in. Quality G would like some place to go. Two better than Braille, and they're at the top of the stretch. With the advantage, it's still my Romeo Lima to the attack. Hall of Dreams getting ready to launch three wide as Quality G with three sixteenths remaining. Quality G loose and charging, trying to get my Romeo Lima and Hall of Dreams. These three across the course. Down the center, Quality G lunging on the outside. Quality G surging at my Romeo Lima, and Quality G gets the job done. Quality G wins over Hall of Dreams second, my Romeo Lima third. 
Photo fourth, Grail or Rafua in 145 and two. Racing in the Cutler Bay Stakes. Good start in between horses for main event with graphic detail moving to him. Up on the outside, Sosua Summer won't be far away and Smoke and Tea holds down the rail. Red Danger is next ahead of Gooch Go Bra. Second last is Mannix and the trailer is Wicked Fast. In the charge to the first turn with the advantage, it's main event. He leads, but he's badgered outside by Sosua Summer who races from second. They're two better than graphic detail. He's now third. Red Danger strides into fourth. Smoke and Tea is back to fifth. He's about five lengths behind. Then Gooch Go Bra together with Mannix, and the trailer is wicked fast. Less than six furlongs to run in the race through the opening quarter in a quick 23 and four. The advantage to main event, he leads by half a length. Long shot, so Sue Summer continues to press the issue while second. These top two are three better than a squall of runners, including a wide running Guchko Bra. That's going to send Mannix into action. So a headstrong red danger looks to keep his spot down at the rail in graphic detail. The pace changing noticeably here. Smoke and T got the shuffle on that exchange. He's back to second last. And Wicked Fast is the trailer, and the half mile was 47 and 2. Around the far turn they go. It's main event the target. So Sua Summer second, Mannix is third, Red Danger fourth, Smoke and T fifth. Dropping back is graphic detail after three quarters in 110 and 4. Lively tempo. Does main event have anything more to offer? He's still in front with So Sua Summer right alongside. Into the clear comes Red Danger, then Mannix and Smoke and T with an eighth of a mile to go. Jose Ortiz trying to get one more furlong from main event. He's Responding gamely, he leads now by two. Red Danger's out of time as main event is still rolling. Main event, the star of the show. He wins the Cutler Bay by two and a half lengths. Close then for second, Red Danger or Smoke and Tea. So Sua Summer fourth and 141 and three. Racing in the Ghost Zapper. Awkward getaway for greatest honor. He hopped at the break. Good start for Fearless, who's part of the Pace Vanguard. Down at the rail, it's Commandeer, who shows speed. Away in third and 12-volt man with Carlos L. saving ground. Very wide and improving after the poor beginning is greatest honor. And Capo Costello is last of all, as they have the speed of Carlos L. to catch. Carlos L. and Joel Rosario now sensing a pretty reasonable early pace, so they'll go out and make the running and lead by a length over Commandeer in second. Heavily favored Fearless is now third, a gap of a length and a half to the rail and 12-volt man. He's racing together with Greatest honor, and two to the trailer, Capo Costello. Less than six furlongs to run on the race with Carlos L. putting up the numbers. He leads three parts of a length. Commandeer is second. Three wide. Fearless is third. He's in the clear. He's traveling well at this point. He's only a length off the lead. Two better than 12-volt man racing together with greatest honor. And still at the back is Capo Costello. The half mile was 48 seconds flat. They approached the half mile point. Commandeer now on evil terms with Carlos L on the front end. Moving from fourth, that's greatest honor. Jose Ortiz wants Saez to move on Fearless, and he gets his wish as Fearless is now on the go. At the rail in 12-volt man, backpedaling quickly, Carlos L. At the back is Capo Costello as they round the far turn. Well, greatest honor moved. That sent Fearless into action, but greatest honor's lost ground to Fearless now as Fearless strikes the front at the 5 16 and leads by two. 
Commandeer is all in while second. Greatest Honor is now third. From the back, Capo Costello is rallying for Irad Ortiz Jr. After three quarters in 112 and two, Luis Saez and fearless with all the money on. He has the lead with an eighth of a mile remaining and he's getting away. At the rail, Commandeer down the center, Capo Costello and from between Greatest Honor with the 16th to run. The Ghost Zapper goes to a son of Ghost Zapper. It goes to fearless as he wins stylishly by five lengths. Very close for second. Can't call it. Capo Costello surging at greatest honor in 150 flat. They're racing in the Sand Spring Stakes. Level beginning. Soon after the start, Grand Avenue Girl was put into play to try to take the early advantage. Splitting horses, Stunning Princess won't be far away. Up on the outside, Sugar Fix joins the top flight. Off the speed, fourth in Stolen Holiday. Headstrong toward the rail is Traffic Song. Il Melocchio is out wide. Splitting horses and Stunning Princess and out the back, Crystal Cliffs. In the run to the first turn, Grand Avenue Girl leads narrowly over long shot designed by Kitten, who's racing from second. Good spot early for Stolen Holiday. Down at the rail and racing in third, Sugar Fix is on her outside. Then Il Melocchio, who's outside of Stunning Princess, out the back, Traffic Song, and Crystal Cliffs. 24 seconds for the opening quarter as they race into the backstretch. Jockey Amisael Jaramillo and Grand Avenue Girl in front by a length. Designed by Kitten is their second. Castellano has a snug hold of Stolen Holiday. She's third at the fence. Outside of her and Sugar Fix, then back to the team of Vilma Locchio and Stunning Princess. Second last, Crystal Cliffs. And relegated to last of the eight is Traffic Song. 48 and 1 for the opening half mile, less than half a mile to race. Grand Avenue Girl has been in front from the outset and maintains control. Three wide, Sugar Fix is on the go. Castellano has to be patient on Stolen Holiday as she's got no place to go. Crystal Cliffs getting started with a wide rally. She's up on the outside, in between horses and Stunning Princess. Plenty of chances here as they race for home. Stolen Holiday wants out. Crystal Cliffs is already out. And here she comes now. Crystal Cliffs runs by them all. She's in front and going away. Late run from Stunning Princess, Splitting Horses and Stolen Holiday. But with a decisive move at the top of the stretch, the Sand Spring Stakes goes to Crystal Cliffs. Sharp in victory and three in top. Second with Stolen Holiday, third with Stunning Princess, then Grand Avenue Girl in 142, and on. Clean and level beginning. Soon after the start, the two favorites went hunting at advantage. Frip it and wish you well. Splitting them. Tackless won't be far away. On the far outside is easy to love. Moving through at the rail. Inventing ahead of inviting. Then Holy Minister. A gap of three to Frida and Starship Babe is at the back.
Down the back stretch they go. Wish you well with her ears up in front three parts of length. Tackless is there second. Sing along Kale on the outside. Striding into fourth is Inventing. Racing ahead of Frippet. Then back out wide to Easy to Love. At the rail Inviting. Three back to Frida. Then Holy Minister and Starship Babe is last. They make their way to the far turn. The opening quarter was 22 seconds flat. Wish you well, doing it nicely at this point. She leads by two. Inventing's the one making ground. She's up into second. That's all for Tackless. She's back third. Frippet is next with Inviting. Then on the far outside to Easy to Love as they run to the top of the stretch. Past the 5 sixteenths. It's Wish You Well. Clear two and a half. Toward the inside, that's Inventing now second. Toward the outside, Frippet is third. A quarter of a mile remaining here. With the advantage, Wish You Well to the clear. Inventing tries to make ground second. They've put on the rest of the field five lengths in the rear view mirror. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Wish You Well trying to go one more furlong. Inventing's going to make her earn it. Sixteenth to go. Wish You Well in front. Inventing takes her shot. They come to deep stretch. It's Wish You Well and Inventing. It's Wish You Well. Hang it on. Wish You Well wins over Inventing second. Frip at third. Inviting fourth. Easy to love fifth in 123 and four. They're at the post. Racing in the Pan American. Excellent beginning for Midday Image, who's headed off for the early lead. Centard is tied of the sea to run with him. In between horses, a bond comes away in the top flight. He's now third. Temple's in no hurry. He's fourth while angling over ahead of Novo Soul. In hand early is Gufo. He's second last, and the trailer is Baker's Bay. And they run around the far turn for the first time. Tyler Gaffleone was intent on getting to the top with Tide of the Sea, and he's there now. He leads by a length and a half. Paco Lopez has a stronghold of midday image who races from second. Ridden for position was a bond. He's in early third. On his back is Temple and saving ground Novo Soul. Gufo is second last in the early stages here, and the trailer is Baker's Bay. Down in front of us for the first time. The quarter was a sharp 23 and 4. Tide of the Sea makes the pace by two over midday image in second and a bond third. Novo Soul is an in hand fourth outside of him in Temple. Two back to Gufo, well settled at this stage, about six lengths behind, and the trailer is Baker's Bay. The opening half mile, legitimate, 48 and 3. They're going quickly here with Tide of the Sea paving the path. He leads by two and a half. Midday image is there, second. A bond gallops along in third. At the rail, that's Novo Soul in fourth. Still on hold, fifth is Temple. Creeping a touch closer, Gufo. He's sixth at the inside, making some ground under Rosario. And the trailer is Baker's Bay. Three quarters, 14 and 2, as they straighten to the backstretch run for the final time. It's Tide of the Sea in front over Midday image in second. Irad Ortiz Jr. has given Novo Soul a good run of it. He'll have an opportunity from there. Three wide a bond. He's coaxed along to keep his spot. Temple and Gufo race together. They're five lengths off the pace setter, and the trailer is still Baker's Bay. The pace starts to pick up. They covered a mile in 139 and two as they make their way to the far turn. It's still tied of the sea in front. Midday image is there second. From the outside of Bond third. Novo Soul fourth. Temple gets the green light to launch his bid. In and amongst rivals is Gufo. He's very much part of this, but he needs to find a way out. Baker's Bay is next and now the pace quickens. A bond makes first run to take the lead. Novo Soul and Temple, the nearest pursuer, second and third. Gufo angles to the far outside and they're at the top of the stretch. A bond turns for home on top. He has an eighth of a mile to get and Gufo to hold off. Gufo starts to pick up his feet on the outside. Final eighth of a mile, a bond bracing, but he can't hold off Gufo as Gufo is powered forward to take the lead. Gufo going away in the Pan Am. He won by two and a half. Second was a bond. Third was Novo Soul. Temple ran fourth, 227 and one. Racing and the Sir Shackleton Stakes. 
Good start for a rough entry from the outside draw, speeding through with the rail, Fortin Hills on the go. Now Quick Tempo is on the go as well, and it will be Quick Tempo to stick a neck in front. Fortin Hills down at the inside and races from second. Up to third goes Girolamo's attack. Splitting horses and where Paradise Lay collaborates on the far outside. Weyburn is traveling well at this stage. He's behind the speed in hand, about four lengths off the pace setter. Chivalry is at the back as they go to the half mile point. Up front, quick tempo where he wants to be, front and center and a length and a half in front. Girolamo's attack is together with Fortin Hill. Their second and third collaborate, get started on the outside. Weyburn is next. He's still traveling well. Two and a half back to where Paradise Lay dropping back his rough entry. Chivalry has been last throughout as they round the far turn. Up front, quick tempo leads with collaborate on to challenge. Weyburn given the green light to launch the bid. He's now four wide and in the clear. Fortin Hill needs some place to go. That's all for Girolamo's attack with a quarter of a mile left to go. They haven't reached quick tempo yet. He turns for home on top by two. Collaborate, Weyburn, and Fortin Hill all nipping at his heels. Fortin Hill's got no place to go. Weyburn's got the momentum out in the center. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Weyburn striding forward to take the lead from Collaborate in second. Quick tempo is backpedaled at the rail. Fortin Hill, but nobody beats Weyburn from here. It's Weyburn under jockey Tyler Gaffleone to win the Sir Shackleton by two and a half lengths. Second, Collaborate, third, Fortin Hill, and fourth was quick tempo. Girolamo's attack for the high five and 125 and two. And they're off in the Sanibel Island Stakes. Level beginning. Soon after the start, Sensitivity went looking for the early advantage. Up on the outside, My Philly Twirl has speed. Down at the rail, Mischievous Kiss won't be far away. And Big Temptations gets away in fourth. Followed fifth by Beechnut Trophy, racing together with Ombe Seuss. Hail 2 is second last in the early trailer, Shad Nation. In the run to the first turn, Sensitivity has inside position and the lead over My Philly Twirl, who races from second. Race choice, Mischievous Kiss, third in the red. She's at the inside, two off the pace setter, followed by long shot, Big Temptations. Then Ambe Seuss racing outside of Beach Nut Trophy. They're about five lengths behind. Two better than Hail 2, and the trailer is Shad Nation. Quarter time quite reasonable as they have five furlongs remaining here. Sensitivity has the lead three parts of length. My Philly twirl second at the rail third. That's the favorite mischievous kiss. Big Temptations continues in con contention while racing in fourth. Ambe Seuss is in the blue colors on the outside. Beach Nut Trophy following the move of mischievous kiss while four lengths behind. Then Hail 2 and Shad Nation. That's the eight of them as they make their way to the far turn. Up front, Sensitivity tackled now by My Philly Twirl. They begin to sprint. Big Temptations is now third. Mischievous Kiss is going to have to do better than that. She's fourth at the inside, losing ground to the leaders. Angling for racing room is Ambe Seuss, and they're at the top of the stretch. On the outside, My Philly Twirl sticks a neck in front. Battling back is Sensitivity. Down the center in a late run from Beach Nut Trophy, who gets loose late. Final eighth of a mile. Here comes Beach Nut Trophy. Big Temptations is 99 to 1, and she's gaining ground. My Philly Twirl tries to hold him off and does. My Philly Twirl pleaded for the wire and got home a winner. Beach Nut Trophy second, third, Big Temptations at a big number in 143 and 3. Racing and the Gulfstream Park Oaks.
Good start for Amani's Image, who heads off for the early lead. Cancel this, speeding through at the rail. Long shot Blustery gets started four wide with running Legacy three wide. The two big favorites are the last two to begin with second last running Goddess of Fire, a length better than Kathleen O. She does her best running later, and she's last of the lot as they chase the speed of Cancel This. Cancel This leads by a length and a half over Amani's Image in second. Blustery is racing together with running Legacy, their third and fourth. Two back to Goddess of Fire, who finds herself fifth, about five lengths off the pace, and she's a length in front of Kathleen O, who bides her time last of all with less than six furlongs to run. The opening quarter was reasonable, 24 seconds flat, with Cancel This trying to slow it down mid-race. Up to second is Amani's Image, and Blustery is in the white blinkers under a loose rein. Running Legacy is behind the speed, and Goddess of Fire begins to creep closer. She's way out in the center. The trailer is Kathleen O, but she starts to pick up her feet as they make their way half a mile from the finish. 48 and 1 for that opening half mile speed. With the advantage, it's Cancel This. Here's Goddess of Fire making her bid. Kathleen O warming to the task and doing so very very nicely. And here's the matchup. Goddess of Fire gets first run on Kathleen O, and they begin to sprint past the 5 sixteenths. That's all for Cancel This, then Blustery as they run to the top of the stretch. Goddess of Fire driven hard, but holding command. Kathleen O needs to get another rally going, five ahead of the rest. Three quarters, one twelve and two. They make their way to the top of the stretch in the Gulfstream Oaks, and now Kathleen O shifts gears, and she's up to take the lead. Goddess of Fire has done everything she can, but she can't stay Stay with Kathleen O, who's on her way to Louisville for the run for the Lilies. Kathleen O, the Gulfstream Park Oaks winner by two and a half lengths. Goddess of Fire was second. They were way clear of running Legacy third. Then Amani's Image and Blustery in 143 and three. Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable, full of run. Improbable, now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway, an authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. Kittens Joy Appleton Stakes. Phantom Currency comes out firing and looks for a clear advantage. Ridden hard but beaten for speed today. Wolfie's Dyna Ghost up on the outside. English B into the top flight with Carpenter's Call not far away. It's a lively early pace. Then back to the Gray Gray's Fable. He settles in fifth, about six lengths off the pace setter. Two better than Noble Indy. Outside of him, an order in law. The early trailer is the stretch running Scarlet Sky. And the run around the first turn, it's Phantom Currency. On the comeback try, he leads three parts of a length. Carpenter's Call is there second, and Wolfie's Dynaghost is at the rail third, followed fourth by English B, tugging behind them is the Gray Gray's Fable. Outside of him goes Order and Law. He's third last. Second last is Noble Indy, and the trailer is Scarlet Sky. They make their way to the half-mile part of the contest in the 70th running of the Kitten's Joy Appleton. With the advantage, it's still Phantom Currency, three parts of length. From the outside, Carpenter's Call is their second. Very wide on the course, but moving up, Scarlet Sky. Scarlet Sky fighting the rating a touch there. He's very wide, and now he's dropping back again as Phantom Currency tries to brave it up in the pocket and looking for some place to go as Wolfie's Dynagos, driven three wide, English B. Carpenter's Call, Grace Fable still in shouting range, and they're at the top of the stretch. 
Phantom Currency comes off the corner, still in front. Wolfie's Dyna Ghost has room to quicken at the rail. Down the center, Carpenter's Call, then English B. Final eighth of a mile, Phantom Currency digging in at the rail. Wolfie's Dyna Ghost is second. Up to the 16th pole they come, and Phantom Currency's still there. Phantom Currency wins the Appleton. Phantom, Cur Phantom Currency went gate to wire to beat Wolfie's Dyna Ghost and Carpenter's Call. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Florida Derby. Excellent beginning for Classic Causeway from down toward the inside. Simplification was way away in good shape today, and he's up to challenge from second. Papa Cap gets away in third. Wide around the first turn is White Abario. The race favorite charge it drops in mid-flight. He's about four lengths behind. Then it's O Captain racing ahead of Clapton and King of Truth. Cajun's Magic is third last. Steel Sunshine is second last. And 11th and last is Strike Hard as they chase the Tampa Bay Derby winner Classic Causeway to the backstretch run. Classic Causeway relaxed up front, he leads a half a length. Simplification will not let him get far second, three wide Papa Cap third. Luis Ayas has charge it fourth at the rail. He's racing together with the gray white Abario. A gap of another two to Clapton, who's outside of O Captain. Then it's a length and a half to Cajun's Magic. King of Truth and Steel Sunshine race together about 10 lengths off the pace, and still at the back is Strike Hard. The opening quarter was 23 and three. The half mile was 47 and one. Half a mile to go in the 2022 Curlin Florida Derby. We have a new leader simplification has powered past classic causeway who backpedals papa cap looms a threat on the outside white a barrio takes third up to fourth is charge it dropping back is classic causeway then clapton and O captain as they run to the top of the stretch up front papa cap doing battle with simplification three wide white a barrio charge it getting ready to launch his bid he's three lengths off the lead but gaining ground with a quarter of a mile left to go now at the top of the stretch simplification bracing for an oncoming white a barrio Papa Cap is very game between horses and Charge It swings into action on the far outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. White Abario takes over from Simplification. Charge It with a late say down the center. 16th to run. White Abario almost home. Charge It shifts ground. White Abario still there. And White Abario wins the Florida Derby for Sappy Joseph Jr. from Charge It in second and Simplification third. Papa Cap ran fourth. The time for the race, a minute 50 and three. And that wraps up a fantastic day of racing on Curlin Florida Derby Day. But we got the closing day of the championship meet on Sunday. 11 races, our first race post, 1.05 p.m. But don't forget, it's mandatory payout in the Rainbow Six. We're expecting $5 million or more in that pool. So make sure you jump in. Good night and good luck.